Hello. Today we are talking about a complicated engine. It has been very popular lately among many viewers on different sites and of course I couldn't stay aside as well. There is a popular photo tutorial by Galina. I will share the link. But I personally have been inspired to try making this type of engine by Irina Opankina. I started exploring this type of engine with her and though I know there is a photo tutorial and I didn't want to totally copy it, so I call our tutorial Thinking over a complicated agent. I have tried several varieties and I'd like to inspire you to create using your own imagination. I mean, you don't necessarily have to copy what you have liked, but you can try different varieties as well. You turn in one direction, you get one type of engine. You turn in different direction, you get a different. If you use different amounts of tubes, you can get different uh, patterns as well. So today we are going to think over these possible varieties. Until today we have been discussing more or less simple types of etching. It is the first time I am talking about such a complicated one. And I have to say that it is actually worth being called a totally separate subject, beautiful etching. Having talked to Irina, I have learned a lot from her as well. In order to make the type of engine like this, one has to prepare. What do I mean? If you save the tubes and keep count of each one, it is not worthwhile starting. Our goal is a beautiful engine for which you mustn't save the tubes. And before you start working, you have to replace all the remainders of tubes with the new ones. Now I'd like to show you this process. I have faced the following problem. If I don't fix the tubes thoroughly enough, they can slide out when you start edging or later when you pull the tubes. That is why what we do. I'm going to make edging with triple tubes. That is why I have to insert the tubes into weaving and to fix them by weaving three or four rows with them involved. I lengthen the tubes. I try to use the tubes that are dry enough or at least have dry tips for them to get inserted easily. As you see, I don't insert them deeply. If I see that the tube is going to fall, I can fix it with the help of a skewer sometimes. At the same time, I am cutting the excessive tubes. I have to get rid of this tube as well because it can make more harm than good to us, this short tube. So I have to lengthen the tube so that I had three tubes of identical length sticking from each hole. Because in this very case I am inserting all the three tubes, I don't cut the excessive tubes so far. I see I have to fix this bunch with a skewer because the tubes are a little bit wet, so they are not going to hold well enough. And I don't cut this tube so far, I'm going to do it in the next row. Let it function as a fixer so far. Pass on to the next hole, insert the tubes. You can insist yourself with a knitting needle.
At this time my tubes are rather wet. From the one hand it is convenient to view with them, from the other hand it is rather hard to lengthen them. Now let's lengthen the tubes here. And after we lengthen the tubes we will weave at least three or four rows in order to fix them in our work. To avoid their sliding away while pulling tight because you will have to pull this type of edging type tight. We will take these skewers out easily afterwards. So far they secure us against sliding of the tubes out. Besides they make it easier to insert the tubes. And after that as I've already said, we weave three, four rows to prepare for edging. So we have made the weaving ready for edging. There are two additional tubes next to each working tube. They all are of a similar length, rather long, for edge making to be convenient. Let's first of all examine the classical variety, the one I have seen for the first time from Galina. We soften the tubes to make them easily bend and at the same time hold them, not to let them slide away. Before that I have woven about four rows, having fixed them in the weaving this way. So, firstly we bend the tubes. We make this edge in the way Galina has made it, with three couples of tubes. So, look. In front of the first group of three, behind the second one. Here we leave some space to be able to finish it comfortably afterwards. Draw neatly in front of the first group, behind the second one. in front of the first group, behind the second one. And this way continue. Try to avoid the tubes getting clustered, but lie on each other in a neat rows. We are getting nice looking pattern like this. And this way up to the end of the row. So let's complete the row. We insert the tubes following the pattern. In front of the first group, behind the second. And now we have to draw the last bunch in front of the first group at first let's take the base form out in front of the first group of three behind the second one following the pattern Make sure that the tubes don't bend too much, but form a nice looking pattern. This type of edging is far from being simple, of course. It is a top class one. But it is very nice looking. Let's tighten and straighten this way, in front of the first one behind the second, form the pattern it was the first stage now adjust the weaving tighten make it straight in some places you have to pull the tubes up, in some places down 
Now we start to understand why we had to weave a few additional rows in order to fix the tubes as tightly as possible. Because when tightening them, you can pull them out in case they are not fixed thoroughly enough. So the next stage. Now we will work from the bottom upwards. We place a bunch on the first group, under the second. And now we have to insert it through this window. A knitting needle will be helpful hereafter. On the first group, under the second, and insert here through this loop. One, two, three. Place the tubes sequentially. They have dried out a little already. You have to learn for golden means here. The tubes mustn't be very dry, but if they are too wet, you don't won't be able to insert them either. So they have to be just a little bit wet. Somewhere in the middle between dry and wet. In my case they have dried already, that is why I get some unwanted bands as a result. So this is our second stage. On the first group, under the second and here through the loop. And this way up to the end of the row.